Hello, everybody. <laughs> I have a haul of stuff that I have gotten so many items from places today. So let's do a little haul. You guys like my last video and I was like I've never done a haul and I spent way too much money today. So um I thought where should we start? We'll do the first one since that's the first place I went to. Um, I got this little book called Practical Magic. And um, this was... Let me look at my receipt here. 17 bucks. So I love reading. So that's just something that I can do a little read on. And then one of my best friends from OSPH, her name is Beth, and she loves owls. And I got her a little amethyst. Um, so, because her little animal is owls. And I was like, oh, I had to get this. This just reminded me of her. And this was $14.95. And then the last thing I got was, let me take it off because I put it on as soon as I bought it because I just love it so much. It's just this little purple bracelet, and sorry, the air conditioning just turned on or something. And this is Aura Beads Amplify Your Energy Spiritual, but I just got it only because, like, I love it. And I already have all these other bracelets and stuff, and if you want a video on, like, all of the witchy stuff that I have gotten recently, um, let me know, and I will do a whole video on that, and that will be a long video. <laughs> so that's all I got from Earthbound. We went to Opry Mills in Nashville. So that's all from there. Thank you very much. Next place, let's do Ulta because there's so much stuff. Okay. So my 21st birthday is coming up on August 7th, and I wanted to treat myself, even though I got myself Doc Martens for my birthday. Um, so I got this little hair diffuser because my hair is curly but I feel like with my blow dryer I would use it a lot more if I had the diffuser and I threw away the one that came with mine 10 bucks so got that for my hair dryer <laughs> hi and then I got this little elf spoolie thing because I've had mine since middle school and it literally broke like this morning and it was really crusty and I've never cleaned that one and that was gross so this was four dollars or six dollars. Hi, long receipt there. Next, what did I buy? These eyelashes were fifteen dollars. Wow, these eyelashes, which are really nice, you probably won't be able to see because my phone is trash. But it's these um, Eyelore London. Lux cashmere eyelashes and they look super good so glue included latex friendly latex free vegan friendly 18 hour hold I don't like to use their glue I've gotten this brand of eyelashes before and I don't like their eyelash glue it like doesn't stick and it makes my eyes burn for some reason so the next I got my trusty little eyelash glue this stuff is super good it doesn't burn and it stays super well but you do have to replace it after like six months or so because then you'll get like somehow glue is all around here like so I had to get a new one of these and let me look on my freaking scroll of receipts see how long this or how much this was this was four ninety nine, five bucks so I love this stuff the stuff I use with all my eyelashes including the ones that I have on today okay so then I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I love this stuff um, but this was 13 bucks I just got the travel size because I don't use eyeshadow primer that often unless I'm gonna be out for a long time like my birthday so there is that and then I got also by their brand is the Hi. 
is the long lasting setting spray matte ultra ultra matte so that was 33 bucks I <laughs> love that for me but again it's things that I will use like I will use that all the time and saying for months that I need a setting spray and I know that stuff works because I've used it before and then I've been wanting this forever and I've been like no like it's too expensive blah 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 I finally got a makeup eraser 20 doll pairs so expensive but I thought it was necessary I'm gonna open it right now because I haven't seen what color this is oh it's black because the packaging is black so it comes with their little blah 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 pamphlet moment so and I've gotten some stuff um, that's kind of like a dupe for this but I've never actually had my own makeup eraser brand like cloth so love this I don't know why I like took it out of its package and everything but the last thing I got I've never tried this before but I want heat protected spray because I curl my hair a lot like right now it's scrunched but I didn't there's obviously no heat in this but and I also want it to volumize and it doesn't really say that but it's by that sexy hair brand and I know everything that they have is volumizing so this is the hot sexy hair um, heat protectant hairspray this is a hairspray thorough protection working hairspray okay well yeah I'm gonna use that that was freaking expensive okay that was 33 no it wasn't how much was that cuz I know that was expensive 20 bucks for that little spray so my total was a hundred and thirty three dollars of this right here like you wonder why girls are like wow I have no money because that this is a hundred and thirty three dollars worth of products so I'm just gonna put that stuff there next is Target so I am trying to wear a black pair of shorts with this shirt right here this little crop top I love this crop top I got it from Ross a bit ago all of my products are falling that I just bought and um, we went to Kohl's because it was right beside the Target and they were like we're closing our store in five minutes get out literally is like what they said and so we had no time to look for shorts I don't know why the camera keeps moving ghost <laughs> anyway so we tried to go to Kohl's and for some freaking reason they were like, we're closing our store in five minutes, like you need to leave immediately. So we left immediately and went to Target. And I have been, like literally I went to every single clothes store except for Abercrombie and like stores like that. Like I don't like stores like that. So obviously I'm not going to find shorts there that are in my size. Like right now I'm a size 16. Anyway, so we ended up going to Target after Kohl's was like, leave immediately. I've been to so many stores looking for black ripped shorts that's it i even went to torrid today and they had one that was perfect but they only had size 26 and that was it so i got these guys i fluctuate from a 16 to an 18 in different sizes love got a lovely skin they look cute so like these little shorts and i'm gonna do a little try on haul but these were 15 bucks exactly and it was no tax weekend so i got those without taxes so that was dope these are the shorts. I don't really like them. I feel very self-conscious. Probably gonna return these or wait until I lose more weight because it's just like, ha <laughs> no thank you. Okay, next. I got some clothes at Rue 21. I know, I am as shocked as you. I've never been able to fit their clothes, and again, no shorts. They had some skirts, and I was like, ew, I don't want a skirt. So I got these instead. Mid-rise ankle jegging, and these are just, these are just ripped jeans. Woo! So, 
size 16 they're a little tight but that's how jeggings are supposed to be plus the more weight i lose the better they will fit because i am self-conscious <laughs> these are the jean um the jean pants the little jegging with the rips they fit me well Then, I'm super excited about this shirt. I wanted it to fit oversized, so I got a 1X. And it's the super cool... Hi. <laughs> it's this super cool skull and butterfly, um, really thin, like... Hope you can't see me, because I'd like to wear a bra with this. And, um, got little monarch butterfly moments all down the sleeves. And, of course, every girl has a story with Monarch Butterflies, and so do I. But, I just thought that was super cute, and I love the skulls, and they had a buy one, get one half off shirt. So, of course, I had to do that. This is the shirt. It feels very thin on, like, this part. Feels very cheap. Um, I mean, it looks so okay with these jeans. It's just like very thin material kind of clings on to every little crust. So that is the shirt. And then in the mint section, oh, and the price of that um, skull one was $10.99. So that was a pretty good deal. And then this is a men's XL in $15.99 and it's just real simple leave me alone I feel that I don't know if I want to leave this as a t-shirt or if I want to try to make it into a tank top because I'm trying to be more in tune with my loose skin so I'm trying to not be self-conscious so I might I might not I don't know this is the shirt do I like it leave me alone yes always I get a lot of looks especially at the mall today because I've got jeans and a crop top on but the moral of that story is just don't judge people because you never know what they're going through in their journey they might be that might be their ideal body type like they might want to look like this like they might want to lose weight like they are probably happy in their skin like leave them alone anyway so that was the haul very quick um so hope you guys enjoyed that little haul moment so i might film for my 21st birthday i'm not sure we're going to allen and gold drag race moment i'm so excited and then my mom's supposed to be getting me a tarantula cake. And I cannot wait for that. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know why, like, somehow the camera was all the way over here, even though it was initially, like, right here. But, hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Bye.